And I want to go back to our top story there, the attacks in Saudi Arabia. Joining me now for more on that is Ali Al Ahmed. He's the director at the Institute for Gulf Affairs. Ali, thanks for being us. The U.S. blaming Iran uh, for the attack, or at least being the proxy behind the attack, saying that it's providing at least material for the Houthis. This is an ongoing accusation. Uh, to what extent are the Iranians supporting or involved in the Houthis' actions in Yemen? I mean, definitely there is no question that Iran is supporting uh, Ansarullah, that's a real, real name actually, not Houthis. Uh, and uh, that's nothing, it's not secret, we've done, known about it for a long time. But if you compare that support uh, uh, to the American and British and French uh, and Canadian and other uh, supports that Saudi Arabia and UAE is getting, it, it really is, you can, it's, uh, you know, you're comparing, uh, 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 you know, one to ten, one to a hundred. So they are supporting, uh, the, these drones are Iranian designed drones produced in Yemen, yes, but they are Iranian uh, designed. And it's just, uh, it's, it's very uh, natural for uh, the Yemenis to uh, seek uh, weapons. If the Americans would sell them these drones, I think they would have bought them from, from, uh, from the U.S. So it's not an issue of Iran being involved. This is not the question, but what we have here, we have an attempt to basically make this a, a, a war between the Saudis and Iran, and it's not. Here in the U.S., a prominent Republican Senator, Lindsey Graham, who has the president's ear, has called for the U.S. to bomb Iran, possibly in response to the attacks. And Iranian General Amir Ali uh, Haji Zadeh said his country is ready for a full-fledged war with the Americans. Is this where we're at now? I think uh, the se senator is, is uh, just saying these things for local consumption, because if we have the same standard applied against the United States, so we would make uh, justifiable also to attack the United States because they, they support and they provide massive support to the Saudis bombing of Yemen and killing of 130,000 Yemeni children. I don't think this is the way to go about uh, running a policy, especially international policy in an area that needs to have no war or less war than and encouraging more bombing and, and more killing because th at the end of the day, the people of the region will, will suffer. I want to talk a little bit about drones. Uh, the U.S. and the Saudis effectively have a blockade of Yemen. So the drones didn't come in. You said they were designed by the Iranians but built uh, in Yemen by the, the Houthis. How does drone change modern warfare, specifically in the hands of non-state actors. Well, the first, uh, the, the the we must remember. A fact is the first uh, entity to use drones in in the in the Middle East for military purposes is the United States. You know they have been using them in Yemen for uh, over 10 years, and then Israel also used them heavily. Then, of course, other states and non-state actors use them, including ISIS and Al Qaeda. So. The Iranians are actually one of the late, uh, latest, uh, uh, you know, players in this game, in the drone games. And because they were at the receiving end, I think they thought this is going to be a good thing for them to do. Uh, uh, the, these drones used to attack Saudi Arabia, they're not only Iranian. They have a, a Chinese component, they have North Korean components, and even European components. So you are talking about basically uh, a side that is trying to find weaponry to defend itself against five years of bombing. And I don't think anybody should be blaming them for trying to fight back, uh, uh, you know, the, the largest campaign of bombing ever in human history. The attacks obviously limit Aramco's immediate production capabilities. Uh, what do they do to its long-term plans? Obviously, earlier this year, they signed a $10 billion deal uh, to supply oil to China. There's a lot of uh, focus uh, from the Saudis on Asia. What does this do on the long-term plan? Uh, I've actually done a, pap a paper uh, in 2008 predicting a gig will be attacked, and uh, I know the area very well, and you know the, the specificity of this largest processing plant in, in the world for oil. Uh, this uh, really effectively changed the, the, the game. It's the most incident in the war between Saudi Arabia and Yemen, and it will reduce the Saudi uh, production for at least a year. It will limit its capacity to use, uh, 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 you know, oil as a as a weapon, uh, and it will actually benefit countries like the United States, Russia, and Iran, the oil producer, and Canada, because now uh, oil is harder to get. And, uh, and that's why I think China will, will uh, see Iran as a greater supplier, as more stable. And the United States attempt to uh, zero Iranian exports, I think, will, will be challenged. Ali Al-Ahmed from the Institute for Gulf Affairs, thank you for thank joining you so us. Much.